new location. Why, yes, new location. Same tablecloth, different table though, but same tablecloth and different background. Ooh, and that's the chair where you get to sit and watch if you're a good boy. Anywho, well, the, um, the crap never stops. <laughs> I mean, if you go on Amazon and just look for something like, um, classic handheld game or something like that, you'll find hundreds of things. And the range is anywhere from $20 to $380. It doesn't matter. But which one are we looking at today? The Family Pocket. Here's the console. You're supposed to be able to put that in your pocket. We'll come back to that. <laughs> so yes, here's the Family Pocket. Uh, it says Family Pocket and Katakana. Um, selective purchasing, because you might not want to buy this. Tells you the size of the screen there. Wireless controllers. And actually, yes, they are wireless. And, well, we'll get to those. Uh, oh, oh, included in this package, we get the Bookshelt Retro TV. Thank goodness. Manual lithium batteries. <laughs> We'll come to the batteries. Uh, double wireless pad. N Wait a minute. That's the first time I looked at that. That's actually a lie. We're going to come to that. Um, yeah, this basically saying that dead pixels are not defects, even though they, you know, kind of are. So, yeah. Anywho, so that's the box. Not too exciting, but let's go ahead and open it. What do we get inside? So, yeah, here's what I noticed. All right, here's our wireless controller. Fine, cool, whatever. You only get one. Uh... <laughs> So I don't know if I was supposed to get two, but honestly, I'm not going to keep this thing. You'll see. Anyway, yeah, so here's the controller. It, um, well, almost looks the part of an NES controller quality-wise. <clears throat> okay, it's not an official NES controller, but it's not as bad as you would think. It's, like, here, if I try to bend it a little, it's not really flexing. And, um, it's, it's not totally cheap, okay? It'll get the job done, although there's no rocker in the middle of the D-pad, so... You can press the entire D-pad in in uh, one press. Mmm, not great. What else do you get? Here's uh, charge cables. Micro USB? Yes, good. You have mi another micro USB cable laying around. Uh, foam, because, well, your iPad Pro doesn't come with styrofoam. This does. They got you covered here. Uh, what do we got? We got the AV cables, because, yes, you can... Screen film? Screen film. You can connect this to your TV if you want. Why... I don't know. And here's the instructions. These are actually in color. Uh, some actual diagrams. They look like they put a little bit of effort. <clears throat> Let's give them a read. Thanks. Thanks. <clears throat> Thanks for your attention to Family Pocket Bookshelf Retro TV Console. Now this ancient game console you buy features below. Now this ancient game console. So I spent money on this and you're already calling it old. Now, well, obviously it's just a bad translation. Uh, basic operation, two AAA batteries. <laughs> Trust me, we'll come back to the batteries. <clears throat> I'll hook it up to your TV, yes. I figure I could leave this here if there's any part you would like to read in detail. Um, adornment. Right. <laughs> yes, if you'd like to read this in full. It, it's It's got some pretty good bad English on it, so go ahead and enjoy that. So yes, why do I keep talking about the batteries? Well... <laughs> Here's the thing, right? So the instructions, let's come back to them. Let's try to make some sense out of this. Okay. In really small print here, it says lithium ion, AAA, 3.8 volt, I believe. Um, then it seems to be a plus sign. And then it shows that you can use regular alkaline AA's, four of them. And then I can't tell what that text says underneath. Something, I think the last word is option. I really don't know. I can't read it. So <laughs> let's look at how the batteries actually are. What's this say on the back here? This battery compart this battery compartment, comma, please insert the double A battery. Make sure the battery's polarity are inserted properly. Let's take a peek in here. Well, all right, before I do, why am I harping on the battery so much? Well, all right, there's no point in talking about the console itself too much. We all know it's going to be a Famiclone. Probably it's going to have poor emulation, stuff like that. But it's the device itself that makes it so unique. With that in mind, let's return back to the battery. So this is where we supposedly put our four double A's, right? Well, there are contact points for four double A batteries. Yes, you can see four silver discs. But then you look at the other side of the battery cover and uh, there's no metal contacts here, which means putting batteries in here will literally do nothing because it won't make a circuit. <laughs> 
So is this just battery storage? I don't understand. Keep your AA batteries in here. No one will ever steal them from you again. You'll thank me later. Life hack of the day. All right, let's look at where the rechargeable batteries are supposed to go. Uh, you know what? What's it say on the bottom here? This battery compartment, you used the manufacturer's standard lithium-ion battery. Make sure the battery's polarity are inserted properly. Okay, fair enough, I guess. There's only one. <laughs> and... That's all there is on it. Uh, the rest of the battery is completely devoid of any information at all. I don't know. <laughs> There's not even a contact where the second battery would go. I'm sorry I'm laughing so much. This is really cracking me up. It has since I got it. There's no contact points in there, so you can't put another... Well, you could put another battery in there. Maybe again for storage. This one goes dead. You could uh, swap them over. <laughs> Why? What... <laughs> What was the goal of this device? Did the engineers and the designers just work on totally separate game plans here? I don't know. Let's go ahead and turn this on, right? So you do that by turning the dial here. Not going to lie, that's kind of adorable. And, you know, they got the antenna going on on the back here, although they cheaped out in the plastic, didn't even fill it in all the way on the back. Got to save those pennies, boys. But, yeah, it... <laughs> It looks kind of cool. All right, on a desk especially, it would be nice. Too bad the viewing angle is terrible, and this look at it dead on. That's not the camera. It does that in real life, too. Look at it dead on or suffer the consequences. Uh, turn that. There we go. Shh. Now, how do we turn this? How do we get these two to talk again? Uh, does solid light? Oh, solid light is good. Look, cursor is moving. Okay. Hmm. Now, how do we do this? I didn't think this one through. Let's see. Can we do... Oh, wait. You guys are going to go for a ride. Hold on. There you go. Can we zoom in a bit? You know what? This will work just fine. So, yeah, this is actually a 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection. It's not infrared, so it uh, does not need direct line of sight. I have to check. That's Swampy, right, from Where's My Water for the puzzle category. I got to go to him. Uh, it won't. Oh, good. B is A. Would that just bring us to another? Yeah, I can't help the black bar in the middle. <laughs> Don't worry, you're not missing much. Okay, I've played Bubble Bobble Part 2. That's definitely not a puzzle game. Uh, Dada. What's Dada? This is going to be pack, uh, Donkey Kong, isn't it? No, it's, um, shoot, what is this? Why? There's music. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm the pig. Okay, this is obviously some old fam uh, Famicom game that's probably legit. How do we go back? Oh, there's a sticker on the back of the controller. Start and select key returns to the list of games. Okay. Sammy's in the kitchen playing with an empty water container. Adventure, that looks like Link. Do you mind over there? I'm shooting a video, dude. Okay, anyway. Adventure, there better be Legend of Zelda in here. Uh, Super Mario, okay. Well, here we go. Mario 6, Mario 9, all the different Marios. Uh, Chippendale, no thank you. Uh, Undersea Arena, sure. No, you know what? Wizzy. Formation Z. Okay. Don't mind the background noise. Sammy is playing with the curtains because he feels left out. This, yeah, this is definitely like another, what the? Okay. This is uh, some obscure Famicom title I'm obviously not familiar with. Why did I die? <laughs> I'm only left with questions. Oh, do you notice the shooting games here? It's not shooting. It's not shoot. It's shotting. Right then, let's go to look at the shotting games. Contra, of course, we got Contra. Fantasy Zone, that's actually a real game, fair enough. Final Blood. What's it? Xed X's. X, X, is this a real game? There's that touchgameplayer.com that you see in a lot of reproductions like this. Oh, that is some gnarly music. And that uh, overscan on the top there is sure something else. Oh, this is mega jittery. And this is a game where you really want to have that 
rolling rocker type thing built into the D-pad. You know, so that you can't press the entire D-pad in in one go. So piloting this is actually not very fun. <laughs> I'm going diagonal a lot. I'm not meaning to. I can shoot those. Okay. Yeah, this is just... No. Garbage. <laughs> well, oh, go on. Let's do one more. What's in... You know what? Let's at least check every category, okay? Fighting. What's in the fighting category? Some fighting games. Fair enough. They actually categorize this one properly. Hassle. What's hassle? Am I a marching fox? This is my life now. Oh, I gotta take out the blue foxes, of course. Again, I'm sure this is maybe some sort of old Famicom game. Just kind of wondering to myself if there's more to this, or... Now I just realized I'm looking at that too deeply, and the answer to that is definitely no. How loud does this little speaker go, anyway? Respectable. Also doesn't distort or anything like that, so... Hot blood soccer, hot blood basketball. Why are all these sports bloody? Family Stadium 87. Uh, Top Golf... Yeah, that's just... Um... Hyper Olympic, that Olympics game broken up. Cra oh, that's it. We gotta do Crary Motor. Yeah, give me that Crary Motor. That's a classic. Ooh. Guessing this wasn't a Famicom original, so it says B to accelerate. I'm guessing the X and Y buttons on the controller are just turbo. Uh, okay, oh, okay. Well... I only have to do left and right, so I can mostly steer myself. Uh, did we... We did the sports category, right? We went... I think we had to check racing. Colliding. That's what you don't want to do in a racing game. Let's turn that down a little bit again. There we go. Uh, Metromania. Excite Bike. That is probably what it says on the tin. Excite Mario Brothers. Lightning. Good hand. I would have to know what's good hand. What the hell? This is, um... Oh, this is not... No. No, this bad. What? I... No. This one literally left me speechless. I love how... The stage assets move in an incredibly jerky motion. Not the sprites, though. The sprites are incredibly smooth. And it's incredibly disorienting. Why am I even giving this... Why am I even giving this console? Just get out of here. So, <laughs> what... There we go. What a creature, right? I, I waited a while to make a video about this because I didn't even know where to start. I mean, do I talk about the, the wacky form factor first? Uh, that is clearly not a pocket game. Uh, do we talk about the controller that's almost good? Do we talk about the fact that the battery scenario in here is way weird? Oh, speaking of batteries, I'm definitely returning this because I had this plugged in for like five hours and the charging light never turned off. So I don't even know if it's got any overcharge protection or not. I, I, I don't want this anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to get it out of here. But I hope you enjoyed watching the video because I definitely didn't enjoy playing it. But... It's fun to be back at our new location here. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Huge shout out to the people listed here. These are the Patreon supporters that allow me to keep doing what I do on YouTube. Wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. There's a Discord server in the description if you want to join there. And on Twitch, I stream every week on Tuesday. Come hang out with us.